Hi, I'm Tom Lyle. A lot of you may not know this, but to supplement my income as an actor, I teach self-defense. That's because my income last year as an actor was only around $1,500. Well, my accountant says, you made $1,500, you have $75,000 in expenses? What the heck is this? I said, look, Vinny, you know, my acting kind of sucks, so I pay the uh, producers and directors to let me be in their movies, all right? Anyway, for a self-defense move today, I'm going to teach you something that anyone can do that will save your life. Especially a lot of you casting directors should know how to do this because who knows, maybe somebody might be after you someday. <laughs> anyway, um, first of all, oh, you have a question, young man? Do you have a black belt? Do I have a black belt? Uh, well, I'm not wearing a belt right now, but last time I checked, I had a dresser drawer full of black belts. Some are brown, all different colors. I got one, it's got a big silver buckle on it, okay, that I got in uh, Tijuana, Mexico uh, when I got out of jail. Listen, if you go to Tijuana, whatever you do, don't get drunk in public in Tijuana. It's okay for the Mexicans, but no, Americans, no, we can't get drunk in Tijuana, okay? All right, so maybe I was urinating in public, but the Mexicans do it everywhere. Go to Tijuana and try to find a bathroom, okay? All right, so I was standing in the middle of the road facing traffic. All right, well, what the heck? Give me a break, all right? I'm a tourist. I'm paying a lot of money. Whatever you do, don't get locked up in a Mexican jail, all right? Well, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Back on track again. Anyway, <laughs> got a little carried away there. Damn, Mexico. Um, anyhow, good martial arts training. Man, it'll give you good, firm, solid washboard abs. Actually, you know what? Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. You have a question, sir? What degree are you? What degree am I? Funny you should ask. A couple weeks ago, I completed my GED degree. I figured, you know, after 30 years, I should get it, you know? Uh, anyway, oh, young man, you know what? Come up here. I need an assistance from the audience. Come here, young man. Come over here. Come over here. Yes. And what is your name? I'm Dominic, your grandson. My grandson? Dominic? You're not supposed to let people know how old I am. Now they know I'm a grandpa. She whiz. All right, I got married when I was 10 years old in the Philippines before they raised the age to 12. All right, listen, my grandson here, Dominic Lyle, is going to assist me, okay? When I give him the signal, I'm going to show how hard washboard abs can be when you train properly. When I give Dominic the signal, he's going to punch me in the stomach. Oh! <laughs> I said when I give you the signal. Oh, that was a low blow, too. Oh, hey. Ooh, wait a minute. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, you better go over there. Oh, jeez. Oh, <coughs> excuse me, folks. Oh, Dominic, I'm going to have a talk with you later, young man. Yeah, I think you better go to your room. <sighs> Sorry about that, folks. <sighs> hey, it's solid. I wasn't ready, all right? See? Hard training. Anyway, I need to give special thanks to my martial arts teachers, okay, before you get into this, because I owe them so much. My first teacher from the Philippines, all right, a lot of you may know this. I was in the Special Forces. Yeah, it's back when you wearing, wearing a beret meant something. Now everybody's got a beret, okay? Uh, and I was in the Philippines, and I met the master of the world, the master of the Philippines anyway, Master Kong, Tagger Eli Legman. Salamat, Master Kong, Tell Tagger Eli Legman. Master Kong, Tell Tagger Eli Legman. Oh, that's a hard name to say. You know, master Kong, Tagger Eli Legman. Salamat. He is the master of the Philippines of Buke Pie. He taught me everything I know about Filipino Buke Pie, and I really need to thank him, okay? Now, oh, my other great teacher, probably the greatest in the world, the rabbi. Yes, the rabbi. Trained me in Kramaga. That means, that's Israeli, that means close combat. That's probably one of the most vicious self defense, the best self defense system there is. Uh, Kramaga means loosely translated in Israeli or Hebrew, it means uh, close combat. I met the rabbi uh, on a uh, seven-week bus trip uh, from uh, New York to Miami. Seven weeks, you may say, what? Seven weeks? Yeah, well, it was a Greyhound bus, and uh, of course the toilet was out of order, and the air conditioning was broken, so it took a little longer. A rabbi impressed me, I, I sat next to him on the bus, how he could eat kofelta fish out of the jar, recite the Torah, and trim his toenails at the same time. I got a little irritated at first, but then when he told me he was with the Israeli commandos for 15 years, I thought, oh, I better be nice to this guy. Plus, not only is he a rabbi, he's also a surgeon. Well, for 20 hours a day, he only charged me $200, because I thought it was going to be a three-day trip. For 20 hours a day, for just $200, he trained me in Krav Maga. Now, we trained in the toilet in the Greyhound bus. Hey, it wasn't mine because the toilet was out of order. 
Well, let me tell you something. He taught me everything I know about Krav Maga. And I'm going to show you one special move in a few minutes that will save your life, okay? Now, also, he sold me the special collected uh, five-set DVD from Krav Maga, okay? I was, he said it was worth three or $4,000. He let me have it for $999. What a deal! Well, it was a special collector's edition because it was in Hebrew. Now, later on, I found on eBay for $79. But, hey, it was, you know, it was a copy and it was in English. What a deal. Anyway, we trained and trained and trained. And you know what? He liked me so much, he agreed to make me Jewish. On our last days, we were going into Miami. He agreed to perform the circumcision. What can I say? Okay? Normally, a $1,000 operation. Well, he couldn't find, I can't think of the surgical tool that the rabbis used. So he had to use the toenail clippers, all right? So we went into the restroom on the Greyhound bus for privacy. Now, he was nice about it. He waited, we were st to stopped in the uh, rest, uh, rest stops, okay? So everybody could hear me screaming. Well, I'll tell you, if we got to Miami, and after about another six weeks when I got out of the hospital, uh, I went to look up the rabbi and I found out that he'd been deported back to Israel. Supposedly he was uh, practicing medicine without a license and um, was really a rabbi, he was impersonating a rabbi, so I guess I'm not Jewish anymore. But hey, every cloud has a silver lining, right? Oh, the move I'm going to teach you, okay? <laughs> this move will save your life. Now you got to learn how to you guard up, learn how to pivot, okay? Run out of the pivot. All right. Enemies coming in this way, you see them coming, you pivot, and you run like hell and scream! 